Plundering the final two rooms of the Yalsavra Pyramid in Sofanem offers the best thieving experience rates in Old School RuneScape, reaching as high as 270,000 thieving experience per hour. To achieve this, you must reach level 91 thieving, but that doesn't mean the minigame isn't a great way to train the skill before that. In this guide, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to become a master thief by plundering the ancient tombs of Sofanem in the Pyramid Plunder minigame. Pyramid Plunder Requirements in order to partake in the Pyramid Plunder minigame, you must have at least level 21 thieving. However, having at least level 81 is highly recommended. Before level 81, Sorceress Garden is better experience per hour and less click intensive, and before level 91, Plunder is still beaten out by Blackjacking, although that might be a bit more click intensive. Aside from thieving level, the only other requirement is access to Sofanem, which can be achieved through the Ichthorin's little help request, or if you're on an unrestricted account, buying a Pharaoh's Scepter and teleporting directly to the pyramid. Gear and item recommendations. The main factors in your gear choices will be the damage from scarab swarms, the poison effect of the snakes in the urns, and the running required for the activity. As such, you'll want to wear either protective gear, weight reducing gear, or a combination of both. Players with lower levels in defense and hit points might opt for armor and food, while higher level players can often get away with wearing graceful. If you'll be using a pharaoh's scepter to teleport in and something else to teleport to your player-owned house, for example, it's more likely that you won't need to bring as many supplies into the minigame. If that's not an option for you, or a single round of the minigame would drain all of your hit points, you should consider taking Full Justiciar, the Serpentine Helm, or the hit point skill cape, Rapid Heal Prayer, or Regen Bracelet. The Justiciar set negates all damage from Scarab Swarms, the Serpentine Helm prevents the poison effect from snakes found in the urns, and the HP Regen items can be very useful in maintaining your HP without using supplies. Note that the hit point skill cape does not stack with the rapid heal prayer, but either of those will stack with the regen bracelet. As such, players with 99 HP should consider the HP cape and regen bracelet combo, and players without that should consider the rapid heal and regen bracelet combo. If you'll be using rapid heal, gear with a prayer bonus might be preferred. Personally, I recommend using a pharaoh's scepter and a rejuvenation pool in your player owned house, if possible. This allows me to wear full graceful and simply teleport home, sip from the pool, and teleport right back to the pyramid. The Desert Amulet 4 is possibly even better in combination with the Scepter as it can teleport you near the Elodinus Statuette, which is an ornate rejuvenation pool along with a plus 7 hit points bonus. It's fairly close to Sofanim as well, enabling you to run back to the pyramid fairly quickly if you don't have access to the Pharaoh Scepter. Other items you might bring include a lockpick or a snake charm. The lockpick is probably worth bringing if your thieving level is quite low as it improves the success rate of picking locks to the doors, but it's probably not worth bringing a snake charm. After all, you kind of just need to accept that you're going to fail to steal from some of the urns here and there, it's just a part of the minigame. Popping them open and charming the snakes is just going to take more time in the long run, so I don't recommend doing that. We'll talk more about plunder strategy shortly, right after I explain how to get to the minigame. How to get to Pyramid Plunder There are a handful of different ways to reach Pyramid Plunder. As mentioned before, using the Pharaoh's Scepter and selecting Yal Savra is the quickest way of getting there. The Desert Amulet 4 provides the second most compelling way of getting there, by teleporting you to Narda, running southwest past the Agility Pyramid, and into the city of Sofanem. In lieu of either of these methods, however, you can take the long way through the Caridian Desert, which consists of taking the magic carpet just outside the Shanty Pass to Pal Nivnich, running south through the city, and taking the next magic carpet to Sofanem. If you'll be running a lot of Pyramid Plunder, it's highly recommended to gain access to one of the faster methods of getting here, as it can really be a pain to run the minigame multiple times on one inventory of supplies. Pyramid Plunder Strategy for the Best Experience Rates now that you're able to get to Pyramid Plunder and you've got everything you need, it's time to learn how to actually plunder. Begin by right-clicking on the Guardian Mummy and selecting Start Minigame. If you don't see the mummy, exit the pyramid and choose a different entrance. He will only be visible in one of the four entrances at random. If you teleported here with the scepter, you won't have to worry about this. When you first begin, your instincts might tell you to loot everything you see in the first room. However, for the best experience rates, you'll want to begin disarming the spear traps and opening the doors to rush through all the rooms until you hit the second to last one you can access at your level. 
This is room 3 from level 51, room 4 from level 61, and so on. There are 8 rooms in total, and if you're at level 91 thieving, you'll only be plundering rooms 7 and 8. In each room, you'll notice a collection of urns, a sarcophagus, and a chest in the center. Looting the sarcophagus awards strength experience instead of thieving, so for the best thieving XP, it's best to avoid them. The room 4 and 5 sarcophagus, however, do have decent rates of containing the pharaoh's scepter around 1 in 1600. The sarcophagus can also contain a mummy which will attack you with melee. Looting the chest awards a small amount of thieving experience, but it has the best chances of containing a pharaoh's scepter. Every chest from room 5 onwards has a better chance than 1 in 1000 of containing one even at the lowest levels you can loot them, and the chances also improve with higher thieving levels. Note that if you do receive a scepter, the guardian mummy will kick you out of the pyramid instantly. This will make the scepter drop to the ground if you have a full inventory. The urns can only drop artifacts or trinkets which aren't overly valuable. However, they do offer the best thieving experience. For this reason, the urns are often the main focus of the plundering strategy, especially when aiming for the best thieving experience rates. When you get to your first target room, begin stealing from every urn you see, working around the room in a consistent manner. You don't want to run between urns needlessly as this wastes precious time. When the timer reaches somewhere between 1 minute and 30 seconds and 2 minutes left, you want to find the door to the next room. Just before this though, quickly loot the grand gold chest as it has the best odds of containing the coveted pharaoh scepter. In the last room, repeat the process of looting the urns in an efficient path, ending with the grand gold chest. If you find that you're going to run out of time before you finish the urns, it's not a bad idea to snap up that chest at the last moment. However, if this happens often, it's best you leave more time on the timer before moving to the final room. Some players will choose to loot the chest and sarcophagus in certain rooms, which can improve the odds of turning a profit in the minigame as the scepter is by far the most valuable reward. We'll discuss more about the rewards at the end of this video. For now, go ahead and take a look at one of my runs. Helpful Runelight Plugins The only plugin I use for Pyramid Plunder is the Pyramid Plunder plugin. It highlights the doors and spear traps by default, making it very easy to see them. It can also outline the urns, chests, and sarcophagi that you choose. I recommend selecting the first floor you'll be looting for both the urns and chests, and ignoring the sarcophagus options. At level 91 plus, this means the plugin will be set to highlight urns on floor 7 and highlight chests on floor 7. Thieving Experience Rates the thieving experience rates for Pyramid Plunder vary between decent and amazing. At level 71, you can expect approximately 120,000 thieving experience per hour if you're efficient. At level 81, this increases to about 180,000, and at level 91, you can reach rates as high as 270,000 experience per hour. This is the fastest thieving experience available, and it can take you from level 91 to level 99 in just over 26 hours. Keep in mind that you may be missing out on a lot of gold with this method, as the profit is mediocre without receiving any scepters, and other methods like pickpocketing vires or pickpocketing elves can net you hundreds of millions of GP going for level 99. Pyramid Plunder Rewards In Pyramid Plunder, if you're banking your loot, you'll receive trinkets, and occasionally you might receive a pharaoh's scepter. The trinkets can be traded to Simon Templeton or sold on the Grand Exchange for GP, or they can be used to recharge the pharaoh's scepter. 6 gold trinkets, 12 stone trinkets, or 24 pottery or ivory ones can be given to the guardian mummy to recharge the scepter fully. The total number of charges your scepter can hold will depend on how many desert diaries you've completed. You'll be able to hold 3 charges without a diary, 10 with easy, 25 with medium, 50 with hard, and finally 100 charges with the desert elite diary completed. The pharaoh scepter itself is the biggest reward from the minigame outside of experience. Its value varies among players in the Grand Exchange, but it's quite consistently going for 3 to 7 million GP, so it's 
definitely a nice drop when you do get one. Well lads, that pretty much concludes my pyramid plunder guide for old school runescape. Please let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.